There are two types of LPG, being propane and butane. Just about all L gas sales of LPG are for propane. Butane is typically restricted to very large commercial operations or when mixed with propane for motor vehicles. LPG is colourless and odourless. The odorant, ethyl mercaptan, is added to LPG to give it its unique, unpleasant smell. As a gas, LPG is around 50% heavier than air, so it sinks to the lowest point of the ground. The flammability range of LPG is quite narrow, at around 2 to 10%. It requires around 90 to 98% air to ignite. LPG vapour at a level less than around 2% is too lean to ignite, and at a level greater than around 9% is too rich. Ignition sources of LPG can include electrical equipment, for example, hot water systems, air conditioning units, and electrical appliances, or a lit cigarette. LPG can be used for many things, such as heating, cooking, hot water, fuel for vehicles. L-gas cylinders are expressed in kilograms. One kilogram is equivalent to 1.961 litres of LPG. As LPG expands around 270 times from a liquid to a vapour, LPG is stored and transported in cylinders and tanks as a liquid under pressure. Cylinders and tanks come in many shapes and sizes, but at the end of the day, they all serve the same purpose. That is, a storage vessel for LPG. LGAS has a swap and go system for exchanging an empty barbecue cylinder for a full one. Or customers may take their empty cylinder to a service station or certified refiller to have it filled on site. These forklift cylinders are used to operate LPG powered forklift trucks. Similar to a car, Forklift trucks use liquid withdrawal cylinders. These cylinders are not very common and are used for situations such as portable appliances like a blowtorch for bitumen roads. Empty exchange cylinders are physically removed from the customer's site and replaced with full ones. Easy gas cylinders stay on the customer's site and are generally only removed for testing. Referred to as the blue top because the neck ring is painted blue, this is to clearly distinguish it from a more common vapour cylinder. This cylinder is typically used for refilling barbecue cylinders and must never be connected to a customer's installation that runs appliances. Sometimes used for domestic or commercial customers as an alternative to two 45 kilogram cylinders. These cylinders provide vapour or liquid or both at the same time because they have one service valve fitted for each supply. Vapor cylinders would be used for large domestic or small to medium commercial customers, whilst liquid cylinders are typically found at service stations used for refilling barbecue gas cylinders. Similar to the 190 kg, though slightly larger in size, these cylinders have a different valve configuration. This is the largest size a cylinder can be. Regulations class an LPG vessel as a tank as soon as the vessel can hold 500 litres or more water capacity. Most tanks sit horizontal and are thicker than cylinders requiring different regulations for storage. Let's have a closer look at an L-gas LPG cylinder. An LPG cylinder is broken up into a number of key components. The body of the cylinder. This comprises the bulk of the cylinder and is where the liquid LPG is stored inside the cylinder. Foot ring. The main purpose of the foot ring is to give the cylinder a stable base as well as protect the bottom of the cylinder from damage or deterioration. Neck ring. The main purpose of the neck ring is to make it easier for handling of the cylinder as well as protect the cylinder valve from damage. It is also used for identification and testing purposes as it is stamped by the manufacturers, owners and the cylinder testers as required. Valves. The cylinder valves are attached to the top of the cylinder and serve two primary purposes. One, filling the cylinder. Two, and vapour withdrawal. There is a very important difference between vapour and liquid cylinders and it's very important that they don't get mixed up. Liquid cylinders are fitted with a liquid withdrawal tube that extends to the bottom of the cylinder. This is used to transfer liquid LPG from one cylinder to another. Liquid cylinders are typically found at service stations where they are used to fill smaller barbecue cylinders. 
all forklift cylinders are liquid supply. Most LPG appliances run on LPG vapour and cannot run on LPG liquid. These vapour cylinders must be used for installation supplying LPG to appliances. It would be extremely dangerous to connect the liquid cylinder to an appliance installation. An indication that a liquid cylinder is incorrectly connected to an appliance installation would be icing around the cylinder regulator. Let's run through some other important LPG equipment. Pigtails. A pigtail is copper piping or flexible hose assembly which connects LPG cylinders to the regulator. Regulators. As the term implies, a regulator regulates the pressure at which LPG enters an appliance. If there was no regulator, the appliance would receive more gas than it can effectively handle. Changeover switches. A changeover switch is a valve that switches over to the second full cylinder when the cylinder being used becomes empty. It is commonly found on installations of 2 by 45 kilogram exchange cylinders. A changeover process can happen automatically or manually. An automatic changeover will automatically switch from the cylinder that runs out to the full cylinder when the pressure drops. If you have manual changeover, when your first cylinder runs out, you will have to manually move the changeover switch so that it points towards the full cylinder. And then open the valve on the cylinder to recommence gas supply. With the L-Gas Easy Gas system, a changeover switch is not required as the installation is usually fitted with a T-piece, which draws off both cylinders at the same time. L-Gas will schedule a delivery before both cylinders are empty. Valve Assembly A valve is a control device that is screwed into the top of the cylinder and serves a number of functions. There are many different types of valves available. Broadly speaking, a valve may contain the following components. A fill point, where LPG enters the valve to fill the cylinder. A hand wheel, used to control the flow of LPG by turning the cylinder on or off. A eulage gauge. This hollow dip tube extends down into the cylinder to the maximum permitted filling level. A vapour outlet, which is a connection point where the pigtail pipework connects to the valve on the cylinder. A safety relief valve. This is designed to release a small amount of LPG should the pressure inside the cylinder get too high. And a bleed screw or hole. While filling the cylinder, this hole will indicate when the cylinder is 80% full by expelling a small amount of liquid LPG. For more information on anything LPG, please visit our website www.lgas.com.au